Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, I have uh, two wines uh, which, uh, well, they're, one of them's labelled Pinot Gris, one of them's labelled Pinot Gris and Friends. Uh, both Southern Hemisphere, uh, a New Zealand one to finish with, but first I'm on uh, La Boheme, Act 3 from the Yarra Valley, Pinot Gris and Friends. I think De Bortel has got something to do with it, or it's only there in uh, little print on the back. And uh, what well, it's a serious Pinot Gris with a hint of other aromatic varieties. Lovely harmony. Um, like, well, let's, let's see whether it's lovely harmony. It's 2014 vintage. Give it a whirl. Well, it smells like it's going to be quite fleshy and rich. Definitely Pinot Gris style rather than Pinot Grigio. Uh, in terms of um, aromatic varieties, I was thinking, oh, they'll put a dollop of Gewurztraminer in there, and I don't see things like that. What I see is this um, weighty, uh, very ripe pear, uh, lemon curd character. And yes, maybe there is some herby characters, some herby stuff going on uh, behind that um, uh, plump, slightly buxom fruit. Uh, but um, I, don't, I don't notice any of those uh, lychee things that makes me think uh, gewurz. But I may be wrong. Let's give it a give it a try. Rich, rounded, peachy. There's this general generous juiciness about it. Um, and um, there's uh, I, I don't know. It's getting acidity from somewhere because uh, there's the fri the finish is uh, yes, it's not it's not sort of sharp or anything like that. But it's clean and it's fresh. It makes you want to come back for more. Uh, there's this nutty undercurrent as well, um, and uh, I'm not sure whether that's come from uh, aging uh, some of the bits of the blend on, on Lee's, but it seems to have picked up a little bit of weight from, from that character as well. Um, I, at 13.5%, I was thinking, is there going to be maybe if something picked really ripe and it's got a little bit of residual sugar? I don't notice sweetness there. I do just notice uh, this generous richness about it. And um, a tasty wine. Yeah, I really like it. I'm going to have another slug. With tasty wine with this fresh finish. Second wine. Uh, this is Marisco, uh, The King's Thorn, 2013 Pinot Gris from Waihope um, in Marlborough, New Zealand. Again, weighing in at 13.5%. And there's a lovely story about why it's called The King's Thorn on the back. And... Uh, I'll give you a link where you can go to the website and read all about it, but uh, for the meantime, I'd better try the wine. Well, a few differences from the first one. Uh, I don't know what the aromatic grapes that they put in the first one were, but uh, they, they certainly had lifted the aroma. Here, I'm getting a similar rich peachiness, but um, two things. There seems to be less of the high notes, less of the grace notes that I got in the first one. Also, uh, I don't know whether it's the extra year or whether there were some grapes in here that had got really, really ripe and had gone uh, almost slightly raisiny, because there's a almost caramel like burnt sugar uh, character coming through. I mean it smells good uh, but uh, not as perky as the previous one but it is a year older. Anyway better taste it. And it feels like a uh, richer, older but less aromatic wine than the first one. Uh, the similar, uh, similar fruit profile, this sort of pear, peachy pear character, but it's missing that uh, little edges, the, those edges of freshness that uh, perk the first one up. I, um, I imagine some people will prefer it for that reason. It hasn't got that uh, uh, slight aromatic spike that there is on on, on the first one. Uh, I prefer the for the Labo M. I like them both, and uh, but again, both of them are in that Pinot Gris rather than Pinot Grigio. Um, I think of Pinot Grigio as being a, a bit paler and fresher. This is this has got a little. These two have got a little bit more, uh, a little, little bit more poke to them, a little bit more weight, alcohol, flavour, uh, personality, character, and um, so I be. I like, I like both of these. La Boheme's the one that I'd uh, I'd take if I had a choice, but um, happy to drink both of them. See you soon.